talk about Diddy's downfall. And y'all let me know in the comment section what you think of this whole situation. Because, baby, it's a lot to unpack. Let's get into it. Now, this is my personal opinion of the whole situation. And for those of y'all that don't know, I did make a video about Diddy apologizing to Cassie for that video that resurfaced with him abusing her back in March of 2016. I'm going to link that down in the description box. Now, that is to say this. I'm going to talk about what's currently happening now at this time of this recording. In the month of September, Diddy was arrested at the time of this recording, as well as there is... 13 very disturbing indictments. I'm just gonna talk about three things. The three things I'm gonna talk about is the racketeering, sex trafficking, and the drug. Let's just get into it. So racketeering, for those of y'all that don't know what that is, is basically like organized crime. So like a person can be in a business or a company and they can do like different crimes, but allegedly in this indictment, they're talking about Diddy having something to do with it with connections of other people with different types of crimes. So that is to say this, that's one thing. The second thing is the sex trafficking. Now the sex trafficking was in the umbrella with the freak offs. So for those of y'all that don't know, sex trafficking is a no-no. And the freak offs that Diddy had detailed in his indictments is very graphic. So I'm gonna try to clean it up as best as I can. So basically there were male, female sex workers. It has been alleged that Diddy did record those and he would please himself or he would be a part of those acts that has been in the indictment that is counting against him as well as abusing men and women things of that nature abusing his power for people that have worked under them whether it was in the entertainment industry or any types of businesses that was connected with Diddy because Diddy doesn't just do entertainment he has a Ciroc brand he has clothing he has fragrances things of that nature so anybody that worked under Diddy he allegedly SA them he allegedly made them feel uncomfortable he allegedly did a lot of things to hold power over people because he has the money he has the status he is known as an icon and in the public eye he is viewed as somebody that could be entrusted in hip-hop but now that we're in this time now there are so many victims because Diddy is currently arrested coming forth for all the harmful things that a Diddy allegedly has done. And a lot of people are saying, well, why are they waiting until now to say something? Now, this is just my personal opinion of the whole situation and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. But when you're under a leadership of a person that has so much power that you can't run to anybody because that have so many connections of that can end your career, take the money and food off your table, Table, unfortunately people have no choice to perform a certain things or they'll just be labeled crazy and just be blackballed in Hollywood because they don't want to be in a ritual so to say to say that they are popular or to be well known to sell their souls so that is to say this there's so many celebrities are coming forth about the alleged things that Diddy has done to them as well as this baby oil that was found in one of his homes, as well as lube that was found in his home while they raided his spaces, as well as drugs was found in his home when they picked up Diddy. Allegedly, there was drugs on his possession, and they alleged that when they picked Diddy up, he wasn't even human. Like he didn't look like himself, but then it makes me think about all of those different pictures that Diddy would do. He would always wear glasses. He would always hide his face. And for those of y'all that don't understand psychology and sociology, there is just certain things that people do when they have a certain type of personality disorder. And I do believe that Diddy had so much money, he had so much power, he went through so much things, traumatizing things, he lost the mother of his children, he lost his friend that was Biggie, he just lost a lot of people that in order for him to escape his reality, he went to the drugs, he went to sex, he went to all these different things and that he felt like in a way God, because he felt like he was untouchable and nobody would say anything to him. But now we're in present time and like the great words of Cat Williams said, everyone is going to get exposed in 2024. Cal Williams said that in January of 2024, we're in September. And ever since Diddy made that video four months ago, there has been something said about Diddy that has been exposed. And 
whether it's allegations, whether it's victims coming forward, the evidence that was found in his house, things that are said in his indictment that is too graphic for me to even repeat that you guys can go look up and read. But let me tell y'all, it is very disturbing. It's very long and very disturbing. You can go on different social media pages on YouTube to get a cliff note of what is going against Diddy. But they're here saying, allegedly, and quote me if I'm wrong, if Diddy gets charged, it is possibility 15 years to life. He may or may not get bail, but I do believe, and this is my personal opinion, Diddy is not going to go down by himself. I do believe that Diddy is going to sing like a canary and there's going to be nobody making no movies, nobody going to make no music, nobody's going to do nothing because nobody wants to expose that dark side of themselves. And as you can see in Diddy's face, when you see him on camera, you can see that he's not even human. Like you, you can't even recognize him. And I think that's why he wore sunglasses because it's a spirit. It's a spirit for those of y'all that are not religious and you don't understand it or into different things. I personally believe there is a demonic spirit that is controlling Diddy, whether it is the spirit of greed, whether it is the spirit of lust, the spirit of control, it's spirits controlling him because the person that was in those videos in 1990 is not the same person in 2024. Like something is controlling Diddy. And I don't even think Diddy knows who Diddy is. Like he went through that whole phase of changing his name. Like he's Sean Combs, that's his government name. But then there's P Diddy, there's Puff Daddy, there's love like there's so many identity crises of this man that he doesn't even know who he is and i don't think he understands the severity of what's going on or even if he does understand the severity of what is going on with him i do believe that he believes that he doesn't think he did anything wrong but to us as the people you did x amount of things and here's the evidence Here's the proof. You have tapes. You have the evidence at your house. You got it on your person. Like, there's no way, shape, or form that this man can escape this. And I do honest to God believe that if Diddy seems like a canary, there's going to be so many people in Hollywood that are going to be exposed. But only reason why that Diddy is in connection with this because Diddy put his enterprise in his name. So that is to say this, y'all let me know in the comment section what you think of this whole situation. Do you think that Diddy is gonna go to jail? Do you think he's gonna be out on bail? Do you think that the victims are gonna come forth and speak more because now he's arrested? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Let's have a conversation. See you next time. Peace.